Okay, so this is a part of the Palmer grasp exercise that you can do. You probably have some other things to do as well, but I'm just going to kind of reiterate how important it is that the goal here is to have the hand land like this. So the thumb bent, landing on these two fingers, and ideally my hand being kind of even throughout the knuckles. That is the goal, okay? So if you're adding something like I suggest a broom handle, I do the same grip and I land in the same place, okay? So right now my elbow is bent and it's going to be easier with the elbow bent. I have a good grip on this and I make sure all four fingers are all gripping about the same amount. What will likely happen is you'll use these two less or you may use these two less when you're trying to compensate more because these two are not kicking it. Try to make it unilateral. Unilateral? Whatever the word is there where they're all working together at the same rate. So if I'm holding it like this, I can hold it. It's not too, too bad. I can think about it, can make sure it's right. But then you either tap below or tap above or you pull below or you pull above, you push, you push, you pull, however you can kind of challenge it. What's even harder is you get someone else to do it so you don't know when it's coming. So I can kind of repair if I know I'm going to do it. It's still pretty good. It's still, I still have to work at doing that so it doesn't fall. But having someone else do it makes it a little bit more challenging. Just make sure maintaining of these two fingers, these two fingers, this thumb. The graduation of that would definitely be to have it with the arm out straight. And we do the same thing. So tap, 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 tap. You can work on controlling with movement if you want. It's not as important probably because it's harder to maintain the equality that way. And the goal is you're maintaining the equality, not looking for strength of your, what's called supination or pronation. I'm looking to make sure that these stay the same. But if that makes you work a little harder and that's the challenge, then that's a good challenge. Thinking about always when you're going to go and carry like a water bottle or you're going towards um, like, a, like a door handle that has like the long part, not necessarily the knob, but you have to grip that handle to push down. Um, or if you're going to go and open a door that's got a, like a long handle and you have to grab it, try to pay attention. Where does your thumb land and how many fingers are you using? Is it equal? Because you want it equal and you want that thumb in the center, especially not up here. And you don't want it to be that you're dominating with these three hands because that's the more common thing that I'll see.